Well, everyone, it's Thursday, July 4, 2024. I am Doug. It's time once again to play some Wordle. Uh, let's see. Jeff B. Dash some old guy gaming 8896. You know what? I love that username. I got to admit, I love that username. Uh, since kayaks generally navigate rapids, how about using rapid as a starting word? Okay. You know what? I like the cut of your jib, Jeff. Uh, I just like the way you turn a phrase. So we're going to go with rapid here today. And let's see. Uh, well, I've never kayaked before. So hopefully this goes well for me. Let's see what we got. Um, oh, whoa. Thought we were going to get thrown off there. Uh, but we did get the letter D at the end in that fifth spot out of position. Uh, I'll take it. I'll certainly take it. Um, well, okay. <laughs> Since you're going to have, uh, uh, I guess, references to water and activities around water, let's move the letter D up the front. And you can take probably, arguably, the four best letters to use now, and we'll go with the word DOWSE, D-O-U-S-E. Um, so let's see. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word DOWSE? Oh, I was almost going to do it. Uh, the D lit up in position, but then quickly followed by the O in gray. Uh, but we also have a U and an E out of position. So this is an interesting puzzle uh, here. We know there's no A, I, and O. I'm almost certain we're only going to have one U and one E. So what do we do here? Um, I feel like I want to... I feel like I want to use the U in the second spot. Um... And I guess, let's see, you would probably put the letter E in the fourth spot. Um, so here's where, okay, so I have, a, I have an idea. I have what I want to guess. And I can't remember, again, please understand, we've done like 900 plus of these or 900 or something like, a lot, a lot of these. Uh, I've taped hardware challenge series over the years. I've probably played well over, if you include the live streams we've done, well over 2,000 of these. Uh, so please forgive me if I don't remember whether the word I'm going to suggest was a previous starting word or an answer to a puzzle. I genuinely can't remember. But what comes out here is the word duvet, D-U-V-E-T. I know it was either a previous answer or a starting word, and I don't remember which. But I feel like either way, it's very strategic because we'll get some great intel on the U and the E, and it could be the answer. Uh, so let's see. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word duvet? You no, know it's not. But, ooh, look at that. The letter D, uh, T, I'm sorry, T, uh, is in green in the fifth spot, and the U and the E are still out of position. But what that means is we know for a fact that the U is in the fourth spot. So we have D blank blank U T. And we know that the uh, letter E is in the second or third spot. Oh, I know. Okay. I think we got it here. It has to be debut. D E B U T. We haven't tested the B. And there's, I'm pretty confident when I assess that there's no other possible thing that fits here. So again, another case this week of just carefully studying the board, uh, catching some lucky breaks on our second guesses, uh, and let's see if we can make it official. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word debut? Yes, it is. All right, outstanding. Uh, so there we go. Uh, another puzzle solved. And again, it seems to be, we tend to get batches of the same themes or things shaking out in terms of the correct strategy or how these things go. Uh, it's been a relatively good week for us without a lot of, of hairy situations, but you never know. And I think I probably mentioned that because tomorrow, of course, is Friday. That means it's going to be Fearless Friday on the show. And we are going to take a user suggestion. I know we've done this in the past, but it is a favorite. We're going to use Myr, M-Y-R-R-H. Uh, so this will be exciting. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and I hope you come back tomorrow for some more Wordle.